Hi everybody! Today's video is a little bit different. Today, we're going through the faceplate of the Texas Ranger TRE 292 to take a look at where to adjust the controls and what they do. No muss, no fuss, just information. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get started. Starting here from the left, the first controls are the volume and squelch knobs. You can see here which function is attached to which knob. In this case, the volume function is located on the inside knob, while the squelch is located on the outside. The volume knob controls how loudly you'll hear other people over the speaker. The squelch control acts as a filter for unwanted static to keep extra noise at a minimum. Typically, the squelch control should start all the way to the left, at which point you can slowly turn it to the right until most of the noise is tuned out. The next knob over is the mic gain control and RF gain control. The mic gain controls how loud your voice is going to sound to other people. Usually, you'd want this control turned all the way to the right. If others say that you sound distorted, this is likely due to the mic amplification in which you'd need to begin turning the knob to the left until you sound clear. On the other hand, the RF gain control adjusts the receive gain, or how well the radio can hear other people. Again, you typically run this control all the way to the right to hear as much as possible as turning it to the left will limit what you'll be able to hear. A common misconception is the idea that you can turn down the RF gain control to get rid of static. However, doing so greatly limits the amount of receive you will have. So the squelch control is what you would want to use instead to remove that unwanted static. Next up is the talkback control. Talkback allows you to hear your own voice while talking. Typically, you'd want to keep this around the noon position, and if you hear any squealing while talking, you'd then turn it down. If you'd not like to hear yourself at all, of course, you can always turn this full left. The next control is the tone control. This is essentially like a treble and bass control. It only affects the tone of what you're hearing, so you'd normally keep this at the noon position unless you wanted to play around with it to find what you think sounds best. Next to that is the RF power knob. This controls how powerful your radio is while transmitting. Normally, you keep this turned fully right for maximum transmit distance. Beginning on the switches above from left to right, we have the SRF and SWR switch. For normal operation, you'd keep this on SRF. The meter will show you when you're talking and when you're receiving others' transmissions. When you set the switch to SWR on the other hand, you can key your mic to test your antenna system. It's good to remember that a low SWR reading on the meter is best. Anything under a 2 is considered okay, and a 1 is perfect. Anything above that should raise concern, and you should think about taking a look at your antenna system. To the right of that is the NB, ANL, and OFF switch. Simply put, this is a receive noise filter. Normally, you'd keep this on NB and ANL to reduce unwanted static. Next is the RB on and off switch. RB stands for Roger Beep. It's likely best to keep this off. If it's turned on, your radio will emit a beep after you unkey your mic. Every time. So that, that might get annoying after a while. <laughs> the CB and PA switch right next door is meant to be kept on the CB mode. PA is only used if you have a public address speaker plugged into the back of the radio. Then we have the dim HML switch. This switch simply changes the brightness of the meter and channel display lights. The last switch to mention is the channel 19 and normal switch. Simply put, this is an instant way to get to the commonly used channel 19 on AM. The last thing I wanted to mention here today is the microphone. This microphone is noise canceling, which means it will require you to have the mic against your mouth while talking. The reason for this is that the mic will only pick up audio that is right on top of it, so all of the noise in your vehicle will be removed from your transmissions. It's also worth mentioning that the rubber lip guard on the mic must touch your mouth while talking. Alright everyone, thank you for taking a look with me at the various controls and features this stellar radio has to offer. You can purchase the Texas Ranger TRE-292 radio in store or online at walcottradio.com. As always, 
Get Talkin' will help. I'll see you next time.